Hi there, Ronnie Bincer here, helping you use Google Plus as efficiently as possible. Here's the beginning of what I call the How I Post series. This one will be how do I create a post in Google Plus that utilizes multiple graphics like we see right here. We've got an image that has one main cover and then it has multiple follow-up images. So if you're going to do any kind of teaching like I do a lot, these are really handy. So if you were to be viewing this image, you click on it, there's your cover image. If you click again, you get to see the first image in the series. Click again, the second and the third. One last click and you see all of them listed. And then I'm going to close that and come back to see how do we go about building that so that the images show up in the proper order, which is the trick. That's where the key comes in. Okay, so I'm going to go here to share what's new. This is for starting a new post. I'm going to hit the, I'm just going to type it really quick. I'm going to get rid of some of these and then go to this little camera icon. When you click on the camera icon, that's how you add pictures or photos, images in this case. I'm going to click on the add photos. The very first photo that I add is this one. It's the primary image that I want to show up on my post, meaning kind of like the cover image for my post. It's got to be created ahead of time. So I've made one. And note here, I've got some other ones that I'm going to use with it. And we'll talk about those in a moment. But we're going to start with this one. You've got to always start with your main primary image to do it this way. So let's scroll a little bit so that we can see this a little bit better on screen. Here is the primary image. And if you'll note below it, you've got an option here that says Add More right here. So I'm going to click on that. This allows me to grab the additional images. Now, if I had thought through this process ahead of time, which I did in this case, and I've named them appropriately, meaning they all have the same name, but of number one, two, or three at the end, I could select all three of those, click open or add, and they would automatically come in in the right order because of the way the numbering worked. However, I don't always think about it that well ahead of time. So I might make a main image like this one, and then want to find two or three or four other ones that are just sort of randomly around there. So I'm going to grab the one that needs to follow, meaning the very first image after the cover and double click or click open to bring that in. Now, when you start out your posting with multiple images, you see a split screen. It does this for one, two, and three, and then it goes crazy or different for number four. And number four is what we got to do. So this technique works when you've got four or more images, not so much for three. So here we go. We've got these two, and I'm gonna add another one. Make sure you add the proper one. I did this by accident. I added number three and tried to get rid of it. You can't, you gotta start over. So here's number two. Number two should be adding, here it is. So now we see three images across. That's cool, but not what I was looking for. So I need to add one more, and that is number three. And once you add three, you have the fourth, the third image in the series after the cover. You have four images. That's what we see now is this main cover image now takes priority or precedence. It is the big one. And so that's why you want to do it first. And then you've got these three underneath. And then you do your normal stuff by adding in the public circle or where you're wanting to post this to. Um, you probably want to add some more text here. And then that's how you go about making your multi image posts inside Google+. Plus. So this is going to be the beginning of a series. Let me know with a thumbs up or a plus one or a comment if you are interested in more of these. I'm going to have some of them in my masterclass area, which is this little link right down there. Go to goodtubeplus.com slash masterclass and you can find all kinds of other additional goodies above and beyond what I might be showing right here inside Google+. Plus. Have a good day.